Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Town Hall 12 Let's Play where I have two builders available. You guys know that's against the rules in this Let's Play, so we got to get a defense upgrading. Uh, I've got two Archer Towers, a two and a five day, and then a cannon at a seven day, so I've got plenty of options here. And then also our laboratory is done, which means our witches are maxed out. I mean, totally maxed out. There are no more upgrades for witches for now, which is pretty sweet. So today I actually need to do another... Uh, a Dark Elixir upgrade. I've got max Dark Elixir storage loot, so that means I need to do an upgrade. So I've already told you guys what I wanted to do. I want to max out my Ice Golems now and start using them in my Bow Witch. So, let's upgrade this baby. 200,000 Dark Elixir and a 14-day upgrade again. I mean, it's good, I guess. I don't have to think about the lab, but then it makes me feel like I'm not making a lot of progress in the lab. You know what I'm saying? So... Nothing I can do about it, though. So let's go ahead and upgrade these Ice Golems, and then let's use these Max Witches. Right now, 200,000 Dark Flicks, a 14-day upgrade in 3, 2, 1, bam. Pretty sweet way to start the video, right? In the first minute. Not bad, not bad. All right, so now that I've spent my Dark Elixir, I need to get in there, and I need to do some up or uh, do some attacking. I've got my, look, I've got my Fiery Red uh, Level 5 Witches. I'm pretty sure my Bow Witch is going to be OP, and I've got a replay to show you guys as well, but I'll show you guys the live raid first, okay? Um... Let's just say Bow Witch is insanely powerful. Uh, it, has, it has led to some very successful raids for me, um, including some against some Town of uh, 13s. But I would like to try to find something that's either like stupid loot or a 12, not necessarily a 13. Uh, but it depends on the base design. Like I've said, I've, I've said in the previous videos that it depends on the base design. If somebody sets up their base badly, then Bow Witch is OP, all right? And like this kind of base, I don't really want to hit it. It's a town of 12, doesn't even have a Gigabomb, but this is not right. Plus the loot's not that good for it. So let me just be a little bit more picky here and sweet. Okay, yeah, let's do this one. Um, town of 12, it's a bit, it's a bit of a ring base. It's not quite a ring base. It's a bit like a ring base, but it is, um, it's got a decent amount of loot. Dark Elixir like crazy in preparation for the next lab upgrade in two weeks. Oh my gosh. All right, anyway, so let's do this. Giants, I want you to start on this side, buddies. Uh, Wall Riker, let's get those max witches in there. It's going to be amazing. Get those bowlers in there. Boom, 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 boom. And uh, Warden, Queen, and let's just wait a minute for the, there we go. And then I want to freeze this Inferno. Rage and heal. The equation stays the same, by the way. Have you guys noticed? Let's go ahead and freeze the eagle. I was a little bit late, but not too terrible. Not too terrible. Uh, I'm going to free or poison over the whatever that thing is called again. The king and the queen, the, the heroes. There we go. And uh, let's go. Warden's ability. Town hall should go down here any minute. There we go. And um, everything's kind of uh, going down right now. So we may fail to get this group of defenses that's the major problem I'm seeing right now unless this queen turns around she may turn around she may come back but I have a feeling she's gonna take the jump spell so let me just pop the queen's ability she'll take out some of the major defenses and we're gonna get all the loot I mean that's for sure but I don't think we're gonna be able to pull off this three star just because we have this terrible terrible cluster of defenses I've still got my baby dragons though I forgot to deploy them so uh, let's just put down one baby dragon out here and I may end up deploying one I should have probably held on to that baby dragon and uh, deployed it from over here to pull out any seeking air mines that there may be. You know what? Let's do this. Let's just wait for a moment. Yeah, this uh, poor baby dragon's roasted right now. She's gone. Bye bye. All right. So, uh, air defense is going to come down. Let's just deploy this baby dragon out here. There are so many troops. I think we may actually three star. So, this is. Oh, wow. Two, two seeking air mines. That was insane, dude. That was insane. I told you I should have deployed my baby dragon down there, but okay, okay, okay. Look at that. Like 700 skeletons get got that final defense. You know what I was saying about having max witches and how it's going to be crazy OP? Well, that was proof right there. We had 700 skeletons just bombarding that final defense. We got a three star. It was easy. It was actually easy. I mean, I lost my heroes. Most of them, but uh, it was still pretty easy. With the loot bonus, that was a lot of loot. I got some star bonus as well, so if you take a gander at my... No, not that. Uh, if you take a gander at my treasury, got a lot of loot in the treasury. So we're in pretty good shape. Um, I'm going to, I guess, donate some CC troops to myself right quick. Make sure that I'm on the right Wi-Fi and all that. But we're in, get, uh, we're in great shape. So while we wait for that, let me show you... I think it was this one. Yeah, it was this morning. Yeah, check this out. Town Hall 13. Town Hall 13. 
I actually attacked from the bottom compartment. It's got such big, wide open uh, spaces in the base design that I knew my bowlers would excel. I knew that it would be a good attack. I didn't think I would three star, but I went for it anyway because I thought it'd be kind of fun. I set up the wall wrecker in line with the eagle. I actually froze the queen and the eagle, but I missed the inferno, so I'm gonna actually have to waste my uh, second freeze to keep the warden or the uh, wall wrecker alive. Didn't realize it'd be a clan castle, so there's already been several mistakes made in this raid. Uh, but it doesn't matter because with um, the queen following behind everything, the CC will go down and it is no problemo. No problemo whatsoever. Uh, now, this is when I thought, okay, it's gonna, it's, the attack is going to be really, really bad. I'm going to run into a scatter shot. I get several infernos, the giga inferno. I mean, everything is going to go badly. Well, it doesn't. It doesn't go badly. Um, I ended up with a, uh, with, well, I don't, I, you guys probably already saw it, but I'm going to let you guys just uh, sit and enjoy the, the show for a second. But, um, but yeah, it's really amazing, actually. It's really, really amazing. And I just messed up something with my other army on my Tunnel 13. I just donated CC troops to myself. You can't see it because I'm in the middle of a replay. But um, I just messed up my army, so let me fix that right quick. I believe that's all I needed to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it was just the, it was just the wizard. No problem. Anyway, so CC troops have been deployed. But, yeah, that was a Tunnel 13, three-starring a Tunnel... Uh, I'm sorry, that was a Tunnel 12, three-starring a Tunnel 13. And it really won that, there was a lot. I mean, lots of uh, skeletons. The witches were maxed out. That was my test for how the witches would be. And they are crazy, crazy strong. So love that. Plus with that loot bonus, you can imagine that was like 900,000 gold or something like that. It was crazy. So there we go. Received Yeti's wizard and a rage from Klaus. Thanks, buddy. So uh, let's go do another raid. I've got no king or queen. So this one will be a little harder. But it still could be fairly successful. I got the CC, and I've got the Warden. And, of course, these beautiful level 5 witch, witches are just beautiful. I love it. So let's see how it goes. Um, need to find a base that's decent, though. Decent in a, in a way that it's weak enough, but still have enough loot. Especially because, again, no queen, no king. That's like a 40% shot to our strength. Just two heroes makes us way, way weaker. Uh... Kind of expected this next search to be good. <laughs> I was hoping for a climactic moment of silence before the epic base. But it didn't work out that way, unfortunately. It's okay, though. We'll be fine. Um, oh, that would have been a good one. 600,000 gold. I skipped it because it was a 13. Okay, here's another one. 600,000 gold. Uh, I will not three-star this base, but check it out. I've got one, two, three gold storages on this side of the base. And one of them over here. So I'm wondering... I'm actually wondering, yeah, actually I should probably attack from this bottom side. If I can get a 50%, I'll be okay. I don't care if I get a two star. I just want to at least get a one star and get a little bit of gold. That's my point. That's my, that's the bottom line for me. So let's just, um, let's send in the giants. I'm going to align the wall wrecker with the wizard, or I'm sorry, with the eagle as usual. Let's get the bowlers in there. Baby dragon on either side. And then there is the warden. Rage and heal. Here we go. Good, good. I'm going to hold on to my poison just a minute. And you know what? Let's go ahead and just jump straight over into the eagle. Bar. I just want the eagle to go down. Let's freeze over that. I don't think I've got any CC troops to deal with, but you never know. Um, and let's just rage through there. Very good. All right. So I've got nothing going toward the town hall. That's totally fine. Pop the warden's ability. Let's freeze over the... Oh, there is CC troops. Oh, my goodness. All right. I'm going to poison. Poison over them. Slow them down. I've got the 50% in the back. Nice, 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 nice. So, um, ideally, I would also get the gold storage down here, but I don't think it's going to happen. No, the poison spell does take out the balloon, though. That was the biggest threat, but no, I don't have enough troops left. So, there you go. I actually predicted that, didn't I? I predicted a one star. I At least I got a 50%, right? That's what I wanted, and uh, did a pretty good job with the with the gold, honestly. I mean, it was 600,000, so I gained 400. There you go, plus a loot bonus. That was 640, almost 650 thousand gold decent amount of elixir with the loot bonus not not great but it doesn't matter i don't care and then the dark elixir as well i don't care so there you go not bad man not bad i still gained some trophies and um i uh, i profited quite a bit of loot so the bottom line was i wanted to use up this fifth builder or the fourth builder because i got five i got two available that's not that's against the rules so uh well, what i'm gonna do is i'm going to collect my treasure now watch this beautifulness 13 
million gold. Now, if you guys have been following along with the Town of 12 Let's Play, and we've been ongoing for quite a while now, you know how much, how, how expensive these upgrades are. You also know, if you're watching the last episode, that this last Archer Tower is 12 million gold. I've got 13. I've got plenty. It feels good to win, doesn't it? So let's upgrade this, guys. 12 day upgrade, 12 million gold. No problem. Three, two, one, bam. Nice. All right, so this can go up because it is the final Archer Tower upgrade. Look at this, guys. I got three of them going right now. As soon as these are done, I am maxed out in air targeting defenses. And this is a good thing. Now, I don't know what I'm normally getting hit with in defense. I haven't like the, like the last defense was the E drags, right? And then the third defense was also E drags. So, you know, upgrading air targeting defenses is great. Now, the one in the middle is hogs. So I got a ways to go before I'm ready for that. But hey, this is a good thing. So all I have to do left are ground defenses. The cannons, all seven, have one upgrade left. Including this guy we have to wait seven days for. The bomb towers have one upgrade left. And then the mortars have two upgrades left. So I should probably start working on mortars. But obviously the highest priority of all of these right now are cannons and bomb towers. Bomb towers are great for hogs. Cannons are great for like heroes and uh, P.E.K.K.A. things like that. So, um, and, and golems and ice golems. You know, like the heavy, like, 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 uh, like giants. Like all the heavier ground troops. Which is generally what you see a lot of. So, uh, guys, I guess I can call it a day. I'm going to upgrade a couple walls real quick. Hold on, because I don't need elixir for anything else. So let's upgrade one and upgrade two walls. There you go. That was 10 million loot poured into walls. Treasury's emptied out. I've got no more gold. I've got no more elixir. And I've got no more dark elixir. Very, very little amounts of loot. So this is perfect. This is a perfect way to end it. Um, and then how long? Two days. Okay, I've got two days until I uh, I need to upgrade another defense. That's great. I've got plenty of time for that. I always like to leave that one available for extra wall loot in case I do a lot of farming in between episodes. So it's worked out perfectly. So guys, um, actually, let's quickly do the math, okay? We got seven cannon upgrades and two bomb tower upgrades. That's nine. Plus the mortar, each of those have two. So you have eight, right? Eight plus nine is 17. So I've got 17 defensive upgrades left 17 is a special number i like 17 it's my second favorite number so um yeah all good happy happy things are going the way they are so guys thank you all so much for tuning in to today's episode of our tunnel 12 let's play like this video if you liked it, and hit that subscribe button also if you haven't already for daily gaming videos don't forget to ring the bell for notifications so you can be one of the first to see the new videos and let's just be honest Subscriber count really doesn't matter. What matters is how many of you guys are watching the videos. You have to turn on those notifications so you can see when I'm live or whenever I'm posting videos. So definitely ring that bell. Also, thank you so much to all of you who are choosing to become YouTube members or patrons. The support goes a long way. It's a huge support and it's a huge blessing to me and my family. So thank you. If you'd like to be part of that team, check out the link down below in the description. There's two links, actually. And then lastly, speaking of support, don't forget to use creator code if you choose to buy something in the game. Uh, creator code is just a, a way for you guys to be able to assign a little bit of the money that you spend to your favorite content creator. So choose whoever your favorite is. If you choose to support me, it's a huge blessing once again to my family. Thank you so much. Uh, use code Klaus. There's a link in the description. But remember, the code expires every seven days. You got to put it in every seven days, which is stupid, but it is what it is. So uh, be sure and check and make sure it's active before you buy something by seeing that little white C. If it's not there, use the link in the description to automatically input the code or do it manually in your settings. Guys, remember that I love each and every one of you, and I'll see you all again next time.